Hello, welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create objects uh, in uh, JavaScript and uh, to create objects in, uh, in JavaScript is it, it's not the same as creating objects in Java or in C Sharp or in other programming languages. It's a little bit different uh, be, but I will we'll show you today uh, one type of how to create an uh, object in JavaScript. Today we are going to create objects uh, called trees and we will get a function that will uh, give us the information about uh, this tree. Alright, so let's get starting and uh, create a new uh, file or cancel a uh, new file and call it index HTML and give it a title JavaScript object save. Now we will uh, make a script and a source. This uh, file doesn't exist already but we will create it uh, as next step. So uh, in our JS folder that does not exist yet we will create it. Uh, we will uh, link a JavaScript file that's called JS objects .js. and of course this script is from type text JavaScript JavaScript save perfect now let's create a new uh, folder and call it JS and inside of this folder we need to create a new file and name it uh, JS objects .js. Perfect. Now we can begin uh, creating our first uh, uh, object and to do this, uh, to create a class, you cannot create classes like in Java or in other uh, programming languages. You create a new function for example and uh, you call this function tree and this is our class as you, uh, as you can remember from other programming languages uh, and it's it's not the same and this is our class and this is the constructor so it's it's a little bit weird but uh, you will get it in the next few seconds or in the next minutes so we uh, create a function called tree uh, with a parameter type then we say this dot type equals type so our type from this tree is this type in, with what we instantiate our uh, new object. Then this dot leaves, we say this tree has 12 leaves. Okay. Then this dot leaves color equals to green, for example. And then uh, create a function and call this uh, get uh, info so that we get the information about the tree and uh, here we insert our function and we create a function called get info tree we don't need uh, the uh, uh, parentheses uh, now we're going to create our function function called get info tree there is no parameter and we simply return a string return a string with I am a plus this dot type so uh, this uh, get info tree returns a string that calls I am a type and you, it will return the type of this tree of exactly this tree then uh, we say and I have uh, how many uh, leaves th this tree have? So we say this dot leaves. I have twelve, and then we say this dot leaves color plus leaves, and save this. Okay, now we have a function, our our class or our constructor function. Uh, for our tree 
and now we create a new instance of this tree. So we say uh, variable uh, my tree. This is our uh, this is our our uh, object then already. Then we have a my tree object uh, from type or we or my tree is an object uh, from uh, the class tree. It sounds uh, a little bit weird because this is not exactly a class as you remember from other programming languages, but it is kind of a class. It's the constructor of this class. So we say new tree and uh, we say oak. This tree is an oak. Perfect. Then we uh, can simply say we console log our new tree. My tree. And let's have a look uh, inside of our uh, index and we have a new oak with 12 leaves and uh, a leaves color that is green. Alright, now let's change something and say my tree dot leaves equals 144 and my leaves, uh, my tree, this is our instance, my tree equals uh, uh, dot leaves color equals yellow perfect and now we console dot log our uh, our my tree dot uh, get info and let's have a look at what's inside of our uh, console now so as you can see, before we change our, our tree, before we change uh, the leaves and the leaves color, our uh, tree has uh, 12 leaves and uh, it has, uh, its leaf color is green. And after we change it, we have uh, 144 yellow leaves. So we can um, manipulate our uh, our uh, variables inside of our uh, inside of our uh, constructor uh, inside of our object so if we now create another tree let's call this my tree 2 and this is I don't know this is simply a tree okay and then we console log our uh, our new tree Okay, you can see that we have a new object that is called, this has the type tree and it has 12 uh, leaves and it has a leaves color of green. So we have a new instance of this, uh, of this class. So uh, we didn't change anything on my tree. We have a new instance in this variable and say this object, my tree2, uh, has the default uh, values. So let's change something. No. Let's change uh, something on the my tree 2. So we have to change our every my tree uh, value to my tree 2 and say my tree 2 has one leaf and it has black leaves. So uh, we need to uh, delete the uh, comments and save it. And now uh, let's see we have a we have two trees two objects from our class this is our class remember it's not a class in the typical type but this is the constructor of the class tree so we have two objects from the type from the class tree these are two separate types and now as you can see our first tree we have changed uh, the the leaves and the leaves color and from our second uh, tree we also change the leaves to one and the leaves color to black okay we have to change here something and make so that we have here a space between one and black <coughs> now it looks a little bit prettier and to see that these are two separate uh, really two separate objects I will in I will uh, I will console lock our uh, first tree behind our second tree. So I will say console lock 
the information of our first tree underneath our second tree and as you can see it is I am an oak and I have 144 yellow leaves so these are two separate objects and this is the first uh, first uh, <coughs> uh, first version of how to create and how to instantiate objects in JavaScript so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe hit the subscribe button uh, if you have any questions uh, leave comments in the uh, comment section below I will answer them if I'm if I can and of course uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I hope we see us the next time because next time I'm going to show you two different types of how to create uh, objects in JavaScript see you bye